Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Turn of Notes. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see Aquarius. So we have Aquarius. Someone here is fantasizing about you. They are dreaming about you. Hmm. You have a player energy. I feel that I mean someone here it's showing up in your energy Aquarius someone who's very immature very childish who might have commitment issues who likes to keep their options open and who likes playing mind games yeah this is someone here who is um, who is very attracted to you they desire you I feel that you know they are very passionate about you this person wants to talk they want to speak up they want to let you know that they are thinking about you and they want to also tell you how they feel but here is the thing i feel that you've healed from this situation or you are healing and and you are and you are all about moving on mm -hmm. this person is losing sleep over you aquarius And it starts uh, heavily waiting on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. Because this person feels that you are leaving them behind. And it feels like it's very, very clear to them. However, they want to talk. They want to talk. Well, let's see. Let's see. Show me what's happening with Aquarius. We have a Ten of Swords. I feel Aquarius that you are releasing here something very, very um, difficult. There was a, some sort of kind of painful ending or disappointment. You might have experienced um, emotional betrayal here from 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 someone uh, from someone indeed with the ten of swords but it's like you are releasing it because you have picked yourself up aquarius and i'm getting very strongly here that you're going to be incredibly successful we have an eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles there will be a progress regarding your work related situation aquarius so for instance i'm getting very strongly with the eight of pentacles uh, that you are very dedicated there is a attention to detail regarding your work um you're very hard working and it feels with the nine of pentacles that your work will be uh, rewarded you have someone here who's observing you at work or your work and um but the reason why they're doing that because they want to reward you or award you with 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 something quite significant you have someone here who who kind of um who who recognize your dedication and your hard work with the nine of pentacles i feel very very strongly aquarius that y your dedication here will be again rewarded nine of pentacles is abundance it's prosperity it's having extra more you know feeling comfortable regarding especially when it comes to a financial situation i'm seeing you having extra more regarding money and i'm somehow i'm getting very strongly like you will have more financial freedom here aquarius what i am getting also with the nine to, with the eight excuse me to the nine it's like for some of you might be receiving a promotion or there will be a change of circumstances for the better regarding your work related situation okay for some of you if you have your own business or you are your own boss 
I'm seeing you working very, very hard. And it might be a case that there was some sort of delay or step back and you had this feeling of maybe I should give up on this with the Ten of Swords. It's not working. However, what the cards are showing is that it might have been just, you know, like a obstacle uh, that appeared on your way. Nevertheless, should I say, yeah, is it the right way to say it? Yes, Never, nevertheless, I, I'm, I'm getting with the Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. And this is not, this is not permanent thing. This is like just a, just like a moment. And I'm seeing you actually overcoming the, this delay or this obstacle or adversity that might have appeared. And you'll be very successful. You'll be very successful. I see you being very successful. Uh, you might be entrepreneur again, your own boss. Your dedication and hard work will be rewarded. Because Nine of Pentacles again, this is very self-sufficient, very independent energy. And in general, it indicates that prosperity, good luck and good fortune is on your side. Show me more. We have a page of wands. So a message is coming here, Aquarius, from someone who walked away with the Eight of Cups. Are they coming back? We have the Death card. Yes, they are coming back. Mm -hmm. And the Judgment. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So Aquarius, I'm getting very strongly, you might have already received the message here with someone who walked away. And I feel that you felt that it's over, it's done with the death card. But with the judgment, this is someone who's coming back because they want to resurrect something here with you. You will receive a message from this person or you've already received the message from this individual here. They walked away, you thought everything is done, it's over, well, they're coming back. Judgment, a major energy of the past. Someone wants to resurrect something with you. Mm -hmm. I feel this is someone who betrayed your trust, they walked away, they were non-committal here, and now they're coming back. This is someone who is... Um, who is spying on you with this page of swords. They are very curious about you, especially something to do with your work. Maybe this is someone who is suspecting here that you are very successful and it's like they want to know what's going on because I'm getting a big energy of abundance. And then we have a 10 of cups as an overall energy, Aquarius. This is relationship, this is happiness, this is joy. I feel that, you know, Overall, you'll have reasons to celebrate with your loved ones. For some of you, this is like a um, very close related environment, meaning family, friends, friends who feels like home, uh, relatives, um, colleagues. But for some of you, I'm getting also uh, that might be a sign of a relationship. You know, I'm getting that you have someone here who has feelings for you who sees you as, as, as a very, very um, beautiful, caring and loving individual. I'm getting very strongly that in this period of time you receive, uh, people will be very kind towards you. People will be very nice. And there is something about the family Maybe you will receive a, some sort of kind of invitation. Maybe you've already received an invitation um, to some sort of gathering, uh, maybe birthday party or family event, but you will spend very nice time, lovely time. Let's see love life. Show me love life for Aquarius. We have a four of pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles.
Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. Show me love left for Aquarius, a Seven of Cups. Aquarius, you have someone here who doesn't want to let you go with the Four of Wands. Sorry, you might be dealing with the Twin Flame. Unhealed Twin. Look, oh my gosh. I mean, you can't make this thing up, right? I didn't know what was at the bottom of the deck. And I was looking at this Four of Pentacles and this Four of Wands and it just came through. And that's what we have at the bottom of the deck. Double confirmation. You might be dealing with the twin flame. Okay. Oh. But I'm getting this is unhealed twin. Okay. So with the four of pentacles, Aquarius, someone here is still holding on to you. This person has a, it's very stubborn. This is someone who is not very expressive with their affection, with their Mm, feelings they have a tendency to hold to to hold back but this is someone who equally it's stuck on you they they don't want to move they are holding on to you page of pentacles indicates that this person will send you a very casual message saying hi hello how have you been something of this kind two of pentacles i feel this person at some point has been very very inconsistent and maybe at some point you find found out that they've been juggling you with another situation with the three of wands they want to reach out this is someone who wants to reach out with the seven of swords they want to sneak him back to your life seven of cups you didn't hear with this energy this is someone here who who hasn't changed I feel that this person sees something about you, Aquarius, that it's different. And they are very curious why, what happened that you've changed? Or what happened that you've changed uh, your attitude towards this person? They don't understand it. Because what I am getting from this reading, that Aquarius is no longer, you know, oh, it's fantastic that you came back, you know. Um, very forgiving very kind of loving very caring and uh, very very supportive now that energy of course i feel that you are like this but you are more selective with your energy and you've realized that this person here uh, is it's just taking this you are not getting much in return and i feel that you know what you've been through with this ten of swords as a first card you just have enough You've just like made the decision, yeah, you know, I've been through a lot. I, I don't have time for this and I'm just not interested. For some of you, it might be case here that you are in touch with someone. This person is, you know, from time to time sending you messages. They cannot let you go. They are still juggling here, their life or their kind of options or situations. It's this person doesn't have much to offer Aquarius with the page of pentacles. This is potential, but this is not much. It's not even a knight, not even a king. We are not even talking about the emperor here, but they do want to reach out, but they are sneaky. Seven of swords. This is someone here who still has secrets, who's been to faced. They are very curious here what's going on in your life. I feel this person's been to face. They were telling you something. Uh, and they were acting in a completely different way behind your back. This person lied. And they had secrets. Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who's confused, who is indecisive, uh, who who's playing games, and they have a tendency to project a certain uh, kind of false reality. You know, I feel this person uh, promised you so many things, but they haven't delivered because they were just empty promises. Mm-hmm. And Seven of Cups suggests that this person still keeps their options open. This is someone who still um, has this tendency to, you know, to focus on anything else. Uh, it's just like they... The thing is here, Aquarius, that this is, you know, if you've ever thought that maybe, you know, 
it's 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 your fault or something like this no this is not this is just this person's this person's personality you might be dealing here with someone who has a narcissistic tendencies who just doesn't pay attention who doesn't really they just care about themselves and it's like you might be coming from the place that this person it's wasting your time they're just wasting time they're coming again with the same message nothing changed their attitude is the same they're pulling the same old tricks and you are like listen mate i outgrown this i am in a completely different <sighs> i am in a completely different place it it's it's not entertaining anymore four of wands i feel that you know irrespective of that energy of frustration and maybe you being quite annoyed with this person yes i feel with the four of wands there is this connection you know and it cannot be denied i feel that deeply inside you do feel that there is something just you know something different with this person and, and it might be this twin flame energy but again it's I feel that you've kind of, um, because of course we have a free will, we don't need to be with our twin flame <laughs> in this lifetime. We can go our to uh, towards our soulmate. The thing with the twin flame energy is that they need to match your energy. And I feel that you are very high vibrational here, Aquarius. And you have someone here who is showing up in the page's energy. And this is someone who doesn't have much to offer. Empty words, confusion, you know keeping their options open, being sneaky, but wanting your attention. Oh, I want to reach out to Aquarius. I want to talk to Aquarius. There's something about boost of their ego when, 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 when they talk to you. It's like this person is a little bit of an attention seeker. Seek, seek. It's like they're seeking attention, your attention. It's like a validation for them. That's what I am getting very strongly. And even if it's your twin flame, this is, I feel that your energy is here, their energy is here. And this is someone who needs to do the work. Because if they decided to kind of, you know, stay in this energy, they will become karmic. It's very easy to become karmic for the for for for, for, for twin flame. Especially in the twin flame energy. I'm I'm not suggesting that you are karmic, no, because your 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 energy is here. You are very high vibrational. It's them that they are not changing their ways. This is the same old BS. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just that that's what they're showing me. And yes, I feel you recognize that this connection is different. It's profound. You have a soft spot for this person. You might even love them. But I feel that you're putting yourself first and you actually love yourself more. This person wants to express something here. Some they want to speak up. They want to tell you how they feel. But this is someone who hasn't changed. Will I trust their confession of love? Hmm. Seven of Cups. This is someone who will tell you something that you've heard before. Because um, I'm getting here that this person it's not very kind of. Um, <sighs> creative when it comes to this why because they just care about their own comfort and themselves it's like this person doesn't feel that they need to try maybe you didn't care with someone who's incredibly popular you know they don't have problems maybe they have maybe you know this is someone with this energy they had many partners it's like they have this commitment issues and that's why I feel it never really kind of truly manifested or blossomed into something really beautiful. In this beautiful four of wands energy, two people coming together and forming beautiful, secure, stable union based on love and, and, and care. That never happened because this person is here, you are here. Nevertheless, expect message from them. Aquarius. Show me near future. Show me near future for Aquarius, please. Aquarius. 
So Aquarius, what I'm getting in the near future can expect communication, okay? Eight of Wands, it's action, it's conversation. There will be a con conversation will take place. Six of Wands with the Five of Pentacles, you will receive uh, communication, conversation uh, from someone who is missing you. And with the Six of Wands, it's like they want your attention. For some of you, it might be a case here that someone will ask for money, okay? If you are willing to lend them some money because they might be seeing you actually doing very well financially with the Six of Wands. So it might be a case, it might be a relative with the Ten of Cups, but overall I'm seeing here very strongly that there will be conversation with, with the Eight of Wands. I'm seeing you, you know, um, talking with someone who's been missing you and who wants your attention. Ten of Cups, yeah, this is someone here who my want to, you know, my wish to reconcile with you. But I see a family member as well. So please take it how it resonates. If you had a falling out with one of, of your family, with one, with one of your family members or relatives, I see this person coming and trying to kind of, you know, make amends here. Show me the outcome for Aquarius. You can you can expect some sort of apology here as well, Aquarius. Two of Swords. Ace of Swords. King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles as an overall energy for this reading. So Aquarius, I can tell you here that new opportunities, possibilities and chances uh, are going to manifest very, very soon. This is an energy of new beginnings and new beginnings uh, for better financial stability and actually a um, kind of chance to establish your to gain most yes to establish your position so for instance indeed if you are an entrepreneur or if you are your own boss i'm seeing very strongly that your that your um it's like if you have a business uh, your position on the market will be very stable okay there will be opportunity it will be it, it's like you will gain more stability uh, that's what it's showing up with this Ace of Pentacles. And also I see some sort of, again, possibility, chance and opportunity to, to gain even more. More stability, um, more money. And I'm also getting that indeed, uh, if you are, if you, if you don't, mm, if you're working for some, if, if, okay. Excuse me. If you work for someone else, I'm getting here very strongly that um, you will get uh, some sort of a proposition here, and it will be huge. I see promotion, Aquarius, and a very, very, very good money. And overall, with this, with this Ace of Pentacles, this is like a new beginning that will bring more stability in general in many areas of your life so i see more harmony tranquility and just feeling good about the whole situation very beautiful energy in your outcome we have a two of swords we have ace of swords and king of cups you may be dealing with a strong scorpio actually Mm. Pisces Cancer. So, Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, King of Cups. Some sort of clarity here, it's coming. Someone wants to clear the air with you, you know. I feel that, you know, with the Two of Swords, if you feel, if you've been feeling that there is something, that the en that energy, of crossroads or you might feel that you know um, 
or you've been feeling that you know you need to make a decision but it's like you know double-edged sword situation uh, with this ace of swords i feel that finally in the near future you will make a certain decision because you will gain enough clarity and you will possess all the facts in order to make a right decision so if you've been at the crossroads crossroads for some time i can see that finally you will make a certain decision here and it will be based on again clarity and facts knowledge you know and truth and with the king of cups i see you um being actually very satisfied with this i can tell you that you'll be very satisfied on emotional level it's like you will feel i made the right decision i made the right decision and that decision will be based on facts a logic and kind of you know um like a rational take on the situation it won't be kind of driven by feelings and i feel that at the end with this king of cups you will feel very good about this choice and you might feel yes i made the right decision it was good that you know i gained all those information and i knew the facts and based on this you know i wasn't confused and i made the right choice and you'll be very happy i'm getting you being very very happy about about this decision and uh, there is this energy of fulfillment and 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 happiness and happiness on emotion of course fulfillment on emotional level so uh, expect here a very positive outcome regarding certain decision that you might be thinking about Aquarius I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly appreciate you Aquarius have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and once again thank you very much for being with me love and light till next time take care bye